Okay, so I'm Grace Walker. Hello, welcome back to this Premier Draft. Oh boy, has it been a story. We started off well, we got two wins. We kind of had a fall from Grace, two losses. We got back another win near the end, and then uh, we fought tooth and nail for the, <laughs> the hardest to grab win of probably my entire life playing this game. Um, and now here we are, queuing again, looking for five, but we might just lose. This hand seems okay. It's got two pieces of removal, it's got a uh, hammer fave, it's got all of our colours now that we've top decked a mountain. So what's left is just to see what kind of stuff my opponent gets up to. Uh, maybe he flashes out a creature, we arrow it, but uh, he didn't do anything. That's okay for me, I got a slow start. I'm not sure about throwing away the boon of the wish giver this early. Maybe he's desperate for lands. There's the Skybonder. Uh, I'm happy enough to kill that. Should die to a Divine Arrow? Should. He might have a buff spell or a counter spell. Actually, I can't fucking cast it. I can't afford it. Because if I try and play it, it's like... Hang on a minute, you don't have four mana. I hope that doesn't reveal to him, because I was just trying to show you guys, but uh... That was a mistake indeed. That's okay, we couldn't have pacified it either. We simply cannot afford to interact with the Skybonder. Uh, do we continue to kill the Skybonder or do we establish our own board? I think maybe it's time to slap back. Do I think he's blue-white, or do I think he's got red in here? He's playing the crystal, but, uh... Crystal cycles, he's got a cycle here. He might have just blue-white with, uh, flying and cycle synergy. But he may have dipped a bit of red. Yeah, he's played red. Alright, anytime he plays a non-creature, he draws a card. Can't kill that. All we can do is uh, trade hits. We can play a Caprador, which uh, can quite successfully block the Jubilant. <laughs> hey, he's nicing that. If he swings, I'll pretend I'm just gonna bounce it back. Okay, he's just gonna return it to my hand. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Gets a couple cards off of that thanks to the Whirlwind of Thought. I think we will hide the Bonders Enclave. Maybe. I mean, there's no way we're activating it this early anyway. I mean, I'll just play it, screw it. We put the Caprador back down. The, <laughs> the onus goes back onto him again. Hey, he's nicing again. Maybe he's just gonna bounce it again. But at the minute, we're trading hits where he's hitting me for two, I'm hitting him for three. Uh, he's getting nice tempo bounces, but they... They're not... They're not gonna amount to too much. The tempo bounce was nice, I just put it back down. Okay, Shredded Sails. So he could have killed... He could have killed my Caprador, but he has chose to cycle away a card that kills the Caprador. Not only that, it would have killed the Caprador and then drew him a card. Actually, no. Because it has four damage. It can't take non-combat damage. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's that's what he was nicing about. He's like, hey, get a load of the fact that I had an answer to your guy that doesn't work. Sprite Dragon has haste. Ooh, Wolverine with double strike. I feel quite comfortable pacifying the Wolverine. I'm not interested in playing slapstick with a 3-3 double strike. Uh, my Death Touch 
such a guy. I think I'm still happy to swing with my death touch guy. It's the first time he hasn't swung with a Skybonder, so now the trade that was already not favoring him too much, hitting me for two, me hitting him for three, is now against him a lot. He's at 11 and 14. Cast the Labyrinth Raptor, but that'll take away our ability to cast anything else. So I think we just end here. We just hold up some instants. Maybe we Divine Arrow one of his guys. Maybe we toss out a dead eye after bouncing back something he plays. His 3-3s three do work though, it's hidden for nothing. <laughs> It's the only thing doing damage. But I don't think he wants to sit there and trade with it. Wow, that is huge. Uh, geez. Thank god I have uh, Divine Arrow. Hopefully he doesn't get a cheap spell, because if he has something that costs two and he gets a 1-1 one -one counter on that, that's going to be horrifying. But I think we might meme him here. I think we might meme him here. <laughs> we, we memed him. <laughs> he niced. <laughs> and at this point, I think we are comfortable swinging with both. And that puts him at like, three life. And we're just gonna put down a gentle raptor. And then we're gonna hold up the fact that we can draw a card. He, yeah, he's nice and he's spamming those nices. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, there's a Wolverine. It's a Wingspan Mantor, so he's gonna have a flying Wolverine. Wow. I'm gonna draw a card. No thank you to the Flying Wolverine. And then, yes please, to the big swing. Good game indeed! Oh, we, got, we got five wins! Oh no, it's put us in gold as well. Now we're going to be playing people to the better. Alright, I'm nervous. I'm the big nervous. This run has gone on way too long for how bad of a deck we've put together. Five wins! <laughs> Alright, five wins I believe makes the event infinite. It gives me just as many gems as I spent to get in. So, <laughs> we are fighting healthy competition. It was platinum, whereas we have only just barely touched gold. Doesn't feel like healthy competition, but um, it's going to be one to watch. We don't have black, but we have the Indartha Crystal. We don't have... Land. We have a lava serpent we can cycle. I think going second, three draws again. This cost me last time. It seems like it wants to be uh, making it up to me by handing me a land on the first draw. We still need. I kept that because we had the possibility to cycle a lava serpent. It, is... it has given me a good number of cycling cards, a good number of lands now. The top deck, two lands. We got the double coin flip. Get rid of that stinger. Play crystal. That offers us the color black, which we don't have anything in the hand at the minute, but uh, if we top deck something. Ooh, flying haste. Okay. Keep an eye on that. It's that same sprite dragon we uh, actually fought last game. So, we have the ability to flash out a dead eye. Uh, so, we will try and click through the phases a little bit faster. Forcing him to use a counter spell on his turn will protect us on our turn, but, uh, Okay, so 
we're gonna take four damage, but then we get to play whatever we want. What do we want to play? I think we want to play a Lava Serpent. And we're gonna clap back. He's hitting us four, we're hitting him five. We're lower on life, but we have the ability to turn off some of his stuff. Yeah, he removed it, but uh, I definitely don't want to just hold it up as a blocker and get nothing on it. So we'll play Boot Nipper. We will have it with Lifelink, because he is uh, a hyper aggro deck, it seems like. We will simply make Dorak garbage. No thank you to him. Now he should be dissuaded from swinging. This should be... Oh, he's still gonna do it. I mean, let's see. <laughs> oh wow, he's got a Moloch. Oh, he's got a cycling card, he can bring that back. I would have took the counter spell. Yeah, I should have held up the Divine Arrow for the Dorat instead, because now we can't hit him back with the lifelink. I don't really want to go lower than this, so we'll take the card out that can mutate. Alright, we lost a card to half a card. That feels a bit bad. Wolverine, we can snipe. Fucking drew the suffocating fumes now. Oh, that would have been so good! <laughs> Alright. I think we actually cycle it. Um, it might just give us a land, actually, which would suck a lot. Divine Arrow of the Wolverine, cast Suffocating Fumes, take 1 damage, kill the 1-1. One, one. I don't feel it. I think we want to cycle the Suffocating Fumes. Draw Vulpagy. Can't afford to play it, because um, he'll just hit me. That misplay with the pacifism cost me dearly. Alright, we have blockers again. We have some quality blockers. Hopefully he doesn't have burn spells? He has three cards in hand. He has some serious card advantage over me. Two cards in hand, now he just chucked the land down. Gigantra is huge. Pacifism is huge. There's no point not playing it. Is there? He can create a 1-1, one, one, which will chump. So the board currently looks like block the 2-2, two, two, create a 1-1. One, one. That's not that bad. If I play the Cavern Whisper, it'll look like eat the 2-2 two, two, and then lose the Enforcer to Gigantha. We have 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven's not enough to make two one ones. I think it's better to uh, like chump with a one one than flip the script and have to chump with the whisperer. Alright, I'm gonna consume the stuff in his graveyard to create me my blocker. Okay, another turn. Board a turn. Ooh, the Oricorn. Shit. Four life. They're just not as big as a 5-5. Five five. Could mutate onto the Vulpke, there's no point, it's pacified. Oh, I 
don't think we just have to you know, roll the dice, chump again. Man, I should have took one damage, and then I would still have uh, boot nip around. Fuck, he's giving it flying. Yeah, that's the game. Ah, comes down here. It's unfortunate, but um, I just got immediately yoked into platinum apparently, and the guy was just a bit better, a lot more aggressive. Going second against aggro never feels good, uh, and it is what it is. Thank you guys for joining me on the experience that was <laughs> the Agoria run. I can't be upset in any way whatsoever because anything after that game where we dug for Mythos was just borrowed time and five wins, 1600 gems, four packs, that buys my next entry and we go an infinite boys. But thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.